Kyle Pitts. And so bad. Know, you want Kyle Pitts. I know you said I'm living in dreamland. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, you keep saying it. It's not going to happen. But here's a way that it's not going to happen. happen. Here's the way it could happen. But I don't think Kyle Shannon and John Lynch are going to do that. But here's the way it could happen. If you really want Kyle Pitts, here's what I would do. There's three players that everybody keeps talking about trading. Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, and George Kittle. Because, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, and George Kittle. And You're about I to say something him. really smart, and I like it. Go ahead. I love George Kittle. And I Me know too. I'm going to get hit if I say trade George I mean, Kittle. Amin, go for it. I got your back. Lo- say I it. I got George your back. Really and you got a problem with Amin, you got to go through me. Say love, it, Amin. I love George uh-huh. Kittle. Uh-huh. So the only way I would do this is take Fred Warner out. Because Fred Warner is healthy. Whenever all your defense is injured, he's too important. He's, he's 24. He's, he's healthy. There. He never he's game. young. He never gets injured. And he's, a, and he's a good man in and off the field. On and off love the field. Him. Yep. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Nah. Next, take on Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, if you trade Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead's going to suck. The only way we get pressure <laughs> to the quarterback is with Nick Bosa and Eric Armstead. But without Nick Bosa... <laughs> Eric Armstead's going to track you down you start talking like that, man. Eric Armstead's a, a sensitive big man. Keep going. It's all good. We need Nick Bosa on that D-line. Otherwise, our D-line is not that good. Okay. And George Kittle. Now, I love George Kittle, but George Who Kittle doesn't? already missed 10 games. So he certainly he missed eight last year. He already People got a problem with Jimmy and his durability. What about George? George already missed 10 games. And like our offense is good, but with George Kittle, it's like another level. But when you don't have it, the best ability, the best ability is availability. So if you don't it's have true. That, you want to knock Jaquaski Tart, you want to knock Jimmy Garoppolo. You gotta knock George Kittle, even though he is a fan favorite. I love George Kittle, but I just we he all has do. to be healthy. He just has to be. And to be frank, his playing style doesn't really uh, give you confidence that he's going to be super durable into his late 20s. And the, only, and the one thing that I have issues with if George Kittle is injured also is that we run the ball a lot. We run the ball a lot. And if you don't have Kyle Huszczyk, who was injured last season, and if you don't have George Kittle, our run game is not that good. Our run game is really not that good. It's and not. People act like Mike McGlinchey's is amazing run blocker. When George Kittle isn't on the field, the Niners run game isn't amazing. <laughs> that's the, that's it my ain't. Only, that's my only con of trading George Kittle, right? Because our run game isn't that good without George Kittle. But here's the th- here's my trade scenario. Uh-huh. Atlanta's willing to trade out of that pick. Atlanta's, I, at least that's what I've We know that. Yeah. We know that, yes. So trade George Kittle to Atlanta. And if they don't want George Kittle, give them maybe a third or a fourth. And trade George Kittle, and then you drive Kyle Pitts. And if Kyle Pitts develops how to, if Kyle Pitts learns how to block, then we have a stud. Yeah, we have I like a it. Stud. Here's the thing, though. I think Atlanta, they might take Kittle, but I think they would prefer Bosa they because have they have Bosa the worst would. defense in the league. But if you get Bosa, you think Bosa's worth a little more than Kittle? He's younger. He's younger. He has. He's only missed one the season, end. but. Bosa, yeah. without without both on that D line, it's just our D line isn't really that good without both, and it, it's and it was shown this season. But the defense was good without Bosa last year. The defense was good without Bosa, but how are we going to? But get, especially right. now we have a new defensive coordinator, Dean Corral. You're right, Dang, mean. You're always one step ahead of me, man. You're how right, we, right, you're how right, are we, right. How are we going to like the players right, don't know right. the scheme yet? So how are we going to rush the passer unless right. he brings Blitz without Nick Bosa? Okay, so, so what like, you're saying is trade Kittle to Atlanta. For number four, end up with three and four. Get Pitts and your quarterback. Problem solved. Yeah, just Problem it. solved. All right, man. I'm gonna send this up the proper channels. I'm gonna I'm gonna text it to Kyle. I don't have his number though, but I'll just start guessing numbers. Because I, I mean, honestly think if Kyle Pitts learns how to block, our offense will be fine. And also, if we draft, we, and I honestly think Justin Fields is a lock unless Trey Lance kills it. Honestly, forget blocking, man. You can get people to do that. This dude and is we gonna be signed Kyle Huszczyk for a five year twenty seven yeah. million. He's, he's Charlie Werner can block. Ross Dwelly can block. This guy is going to lead the team in targets and catches and touchdowns and yards and everything. And I'm going to get his jersey, a big fat head on my wall. It says Kyle Pitts, and I'm going to be next to it like. No, but I honestly, I also, another point, I also think Justin Fields is a lock, unless Trey Lance kills in his pro day. Because did you see the Instagram um, the uh, Instagram and Twitter pictures of how happy Kyle Shannon was next to Justin Fields? He telling you, man, so I think happy. it's a smoke screen. I think it's a smoke screen. I think he's... he's so Trying, I think he's trying to. I playing mind games with Robert Sala, man. I think he's playing mind games. I love him, man. He's so good. La- so you know why, good. And also, you know why I think that rumor floated of Mac Jones, not like how Mac, the Niners wanted Mac Jones. Yeah. Because, um, Robert Sala doesn't know anything about QBs. So if Kyle Shanahan says he loves Robert, if Kyle Shanahan says he loves Mac Jones, he says that I love Mac Jones. Mac Jones is great or whatever, <laughs> and it's a lock. Adam Schefter says it's a lock, and all these guys saying it's a lock. Then Robert Sala, like, Robert Sala might be thinking in his head, "Hey, Kyle Shanahan's a genius." We should draft Mac Jones. 
See, that's what I'm thinking. I feel like Kyle's been trying to sway Robert Sala. Hey, man, Mac Jones is the guy. And, and they're like, no, he's not. That's not going to work. So now Kyle's like, okay, 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 okay. It's Justin Fields. It's, it's Justin Fields, Fields is the guy that I like. He's and they're trying to get piece. the Jets to pass on Zach Wilson. That's, that's the way I – they're trying to get the Jets. They think the Jets are weak-minded. They think the Jets want to do what the Niners want to do. So they're like, all right, you take Mac Jones. They're like, no, dude, we're not that dumb. So all right, all right, Fields. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I got to take a couple more calls because it's 1055 and I got to be up out of here. But great call that you blew my – that was one of your best. I'm just going to say it was one of your best. And you always come with the heat. So good stuff. 